I have such an incredible thing to tell you about. This is beyond amazing. Thank you, God, for allowing me to experience this. I am pretty sure God allowed me to experience this for your sake. Because a lot of you saw my previous video on tongues, speaking in tongues and having the gift of tongues and interpretation. Uh, and there were a lot of questions and a longing to know more about this. So I believe God enabled me to experience this, what I'm going to share with you, for your sake. That's why I'm really, really excited to share this. Not to boast of what God is doing, but to increase an understanding of this gift. Oh, okay, so let me give you a little background. All right, I did study Hindi for 12 years in school. Uh, I was in Mumbai, so Hindi was like very common there. And that's kind of why, though I'm half Tamilian, half Kannadiga, which is the languages where I am staying in now in Karnataka, Though those are my roots, we didn't really speak that language. So I grew up learning, I grew up hearing Hindi and learning Hindi. However, I think I'm a little short in the language department because I could never really speak it. Even now, uh, even with the Chatan cover, which I did with Prakriti Angelina uh, recently, which a lot of you saw, and that's how a lot of you have joined this channel, which is awesome. Uh, even doing that cover was so difficult for me and I did not know what any of the words meant except some very common words like beach me and you know some very common words I knew but the rest I didn't know I didn't know what chatan means I had to like look up look up all the lyrics and with the song pronunciation I have like back uh, behind the scenes which if you want proof I can show you Basic words I was not able to pronounce, pronounce and Prakriti had to be like, did you see, uh, what is it, Bite Kal, the word Bite is there, I, I said it like Bite, and it's wrong, it's wrong, and she's, she's like, Bian, did you say Bite, it's Bite, I can say it, but to sping it, uh, <laughs> To speak it was different, all right? Um, so I'm just trying to tell you, I understand Hindi, <laughs> but I can't speak Hindi, okay? So now coming back to this gift of tongues, which God gave me recently, for those of you who have not seen that video, God gave me this gift after a long time of seeking it because I wanted to be able to speak to God in a language that was beyond English. And God has blessed me with this gift. And the gift of interpretation. So far, the tongues that I got, they did sound like actual languages. They did not sound like gibberish. Uh, but I didn't know if they were earthly languages. I didn't recognize any. Because I only know like a few languages. I can only recognize a few. One is Hindi. The other one is Tamil. And Kannada also I did study a little bit, but cannot, can't really understand the language. But I can probably recognize if it is Kannada. Okay. So uh, I did a little French. So these, these are languages I kind of, I can kind of know whether it's that language or not. So what I did for the benefit of knowing whether the tongues that I get when I'm praying to God in my room, are they human languages or are they heavenly languages? Now, I believe both exist. And I said that in my previous video on tongues. Uh, that's what the Bible says. Some is just for the believer to talk to God, is for God, is for that communication to be strengthened. Some tongues are just like that. And some, the more popular ones, are the ones where you are suddenly given a tongue for a person who is probably a non-believer and you're speaking their language, truth. And it's a miracle, right? And it will be amazing for the other person. So I wanted, I wanted, I, I asked God this question. Would you please, for me to know that some of these languages that I speak with you are actual languages, would you please confirm it to me by one day, just once, giving it to me in a language that I can recognize? 
And I, I could sense this was very possible, right? Because the languages I was getting when I'm speaking to God sound like actual languages, okay? So I was waiting for a moment when I start speaking in a tongue, which I kind of recognize, but it's not something that I actually know. And I, I know that this is God speaking through me. Um, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, and I waited really hard to make this video. I was praying for my brother in this room. This is where he sleeps. And I was just, I started praying in tongues because the emotion inside me was so much that I just wanted God to put comprehension into what I was saying. And as I pray... I say something that sounds like a Hindi word. I was like, oh, is this the time God has chosen to give me a language that I kind of know? Just so I know that, yes, that, that I can also speak in earthly languages through his Holy Spirit. And I kind of zoned in to that in my mind. Um, so I'm just kind of describing the process, all right, for those of you who are Cree who are curious to know how it, how it all happens. There's this, there's this thought process that starts, which is kind of foreign to your own thought process. And I just kind of latched on uh, to that train of thought. And I started speaking these Hindi words that I have never spoken for years and years. Like from school days, I have never spoken some certain words that were just fluently coming out. Like, I was touching Yona's uh, head, putting my hand on his head to pray for him. And the words that were coming were, Uska man me jeevan dalo. And like, those kind of words, which I have never uttered for a long, long time. The only Hindi I've uttered uh, in Bangalore is in autos. <laughs> when I'm telling them, thoda sida jao, and go little straight, those kind of things. But, these words I hadn't spoken for so long. I knew this was the Holy Spirit talking. And it was a little tough, honestly, because I kind of knew the language. So my brain was um, coming in the way a lot. Like I was a bit conscious of what was going on. And that was breaking like the flow. So I also think that the words that were coming, though it was very fluent and I was not used to it. Um, I think that if I had recorded it, it would not have been like a perfect Hindi, for instance. Um, but that was not to do with the, the lack of the fullness of the gift. That's to do with how I use that gift. So they say like, even with singing, when you get a gift, you have the gift of singing, you have to practice it, right? So I think it was to do with that. I feel like some of the sentences were a little bit... Um, broken and not like perfect Hindi but I was getting these words like Uska man me jeevan dalo and um hum gosh I can't even remember what I said now I knew this will happen because I'm not that good in Hindi so I kind of recorded some on my phone and I will put it here I'll put it for you I'll play it for you and you'll see these words that I'm speaking Let me just play it. Recorder. I record a lot to keep things, events, prayers, keep track of what's going on in my life, and of course, songs. Mira man koldo. Mira anki koldo. Ooh, mera man kholdo, mera anki kholdo. Oh, that's, that's pretty. I didn't even get those sentences now, trying to remember. That's, uh, that's like, for those of you who don't know, open my mind, open my eyes. This was when I, a little bit after praying for Johan, I began to pray for myself. Sorry, the light is distracting me. <laughs> and uh, these were the sentences. I went to the bathroom and I recorded, because it was late in the night, and I didn't want to, like, freak anyone out. आपके बिना में कुछ नहीं है। 
आपके बिना में कुछ नहीं है इट्स सच ब्यूटिफुल प्रेयर्स इट्स लाइक विदाउट यू आई एम नथिंग उसका मन खोल दो उसका उसका मन खोल दो इज ओपन हिज माइंड Now the beautiful thing about speaking in another language is it has its own different uh beauty that is beautiful in its language and you won't usually talk like that in your language so that's the beautiful thing about tongues aankhe khol do uska aankhe khol do is a uh, open his eyes aapke bina hum kuch nahi hai without you we are nothing again i recorded this after the prayer to just like record what was happening this is not during the prayer train calls okay we're back hamara bharosa aap mein hai oh hamara bharosa aap mein hai is uh, our trust if i'm not mistaken our trust is in you i'll just play a little and then say what it is hum jaanta hai ki tum hamko madad kar sakte हम जानता है वी नो हम जानते हैं कि तुम वी नो दैट यू विल हेल्प अस वी हैव नॉलेज इन द फैक्ट दैट यू कैन हेल्प अस मुझे मालूम है कि आप ये कर करेंगे यू कैन सी लाइक माय ब्रेन इज ट्राइंग टू गेट इन द वे ऑफ थिंग्स आई नो आई सेड आई नो व्हाट डू आई से माय गॉडनेस आई फॉरगॉट मुझे मालूम है कि व्हाट What? करेंगे मुझे मालूम है कि आप ये कर करेंगे आई नो दैट यू विल डू दिस यस व्हाट इज उसका मन बदल दो चेंज हिज माइंड उसका मन में जीवन डालो पुट लाइफ इन टू हिम जीवन डालो तुम्हारा पास पूरा जिंदगी है तुम्हारा पास पूरा जिंदगी है मीन्स लुक लुक हु ज्वाइन दस इन द बैक एंड दैट्स हिम राइट देर सो वट वॉज आई सी तुम्हारा पास पूरा जिंदगी है आई नो दैट विद यू देर इज फुल लाइफ तुम्हारा पास पूरा जिंदगी है ओ माई गुडनेस आई आई वाइक क्राइंग बिकॉज दीज वर्ड्स वॉज सो ब्यूटिफुल एंड देर नॉट दिस इन अदर साइन दैट आई नो इट्स नॉट मी that's not the way i would usually pray those are not the kind of sentences that i would usually pray with so i just feel like crying right now aap hi karenge hamara bharosa hai aap mein yeah similar thing um just just as a interesting thing if i were to not know hindi and i were to hear that I would not uh, maybe because I'm not like practice this gift much I haven't um especially not with people I don't know I feel like I would not get every single word right but I would really get a sense of what I was saying I would get that it's about healing it's about life you know the main like themes So I just I just thought that's interesting to note because it just means I need to um practice this gift a lot more I have to meet, I have to use it a lot more if you go outside and be willing to use this gift and then it'll probably get like crystal clear uh pakka language and probably this it is not how everyone experiences this gift maybe some people from the first day they go right into the fullness of the gift like the apostles in acts 2 and some people maybe take a little time to develop the gift you know it's just like my relationship with god i took time developing a relationship i think it will take time to develop this gift of tongues and of interpretation um so yeah i just wanted to share that event what a beautiful experience i don't know if some of you will believe that this is all true or not but i can tell you I'm a witness to it and I'm really excited that God allowed me to share this uh with you to know that yes it is possible to have tongues from the Holy Spirit that you don't uh, in a language that you do not know to help your prayer life both for you personally 
and for other people involved. Um, and again, I reiterate that tongues can be an earthly language and also can be a heavenly language just between you and God. I told this to my father and he was like, yeah, why not? Why, why should only the earth have languages? Why can't there be heavenly languages, right? So anyway, thank you for listening to this video and uh, I look forward to reading your comments and emails. Bye, God bless. I'm Vihan Damaris. Always strive to be like Jesus. And I'll see you in the next video.